Hi, in this video, we'll demonstrate how to use macros to automate a sequence of steps on a web page after a monitor detects a change. This feature is available only for local monitors and is particularly useful for adding previously sold out items to your cart when the monitor detects that the item has become available. For example, I'm interested in buying a product that is currently sold out. When the item becomes available, an Add to Cart button will replace the sold out button. We will record a macro on a page with an Add to Cart button. Later, we can use this macro with the monitor tracking the sold out item. In the watch list, click the hamburger icon, navigate to the macros page, and start creating a macro. Here, I'll record the action sequence. Once the remote browser loads the product page, you can start performing actions on the page. I'll click the Add to Cart button. Depending on the nature of the website, you may encounter a pop-up. I will close the pop-up and proceed with the planned action sequence. I'll click on Add to Cart and then View Cart. Since we've encountered a pop-up during the macro recording, we'll add an if-else block to handle it if and when it appears. First, inspect the step and copy the action step. Next, click on the Overflow button and insert a step before. Select the If block from the drop-down menu. Add the condition that if the pop-up element exists, the macro will click the Close button on the pop-up. Simply paste the HTML of the Click button action you copied earlier. Once the If block is added, we'll remove the redundant action of clicking on the pop-up. Now, the sequence includes the steps of handling the pop-up, adding the item to the cart, and viewing the cart. Now, stop recording. While recording the item was added to the cart, we'll remove it to be added later. We'll save this macro and create a monitor to track the sold-out item. Click on the Add Monitor button and create a web page monitor. In the remote browser, navigate to the Unavailable Product page. When the visual selector loads, select the Sold Out button using your cursor. Save the selection. On the Options page, click Add Actions and choose Run Macro for Local Monitor. From the drop-down, select the macro we recorded. Additionally, add a condition to check if the Sold Out button text has been replaced by the Add to Cart text. Save the monitor. In the Watch List preview, you will see the monitor tracking the sold out item. For demonstration of showing restocking, let's assume the item is back in stock and the page shows an Add to Cart button in place of Sold Out. To show you how the monitor works to trigger the macro, I will edit the monitor and replace the unavailable product URL with the available product URL. I will save the monitor and let it run. When the monitor detects the Add to Cart text, it will trigger the macro to perform the recorded steps. The web page will open, and the macro will click the Add to Cart button, adding the item to the cart. I hope this video provides a clear example of how to use macro actions for web page changes.